Hello everyone and welcome to our very first video of our Dragon's Dogma 2 Let's Play slash sort of walkthrough. Uh, I am playing this game on another save, so uh, there will be some things that I already know and some things that I don't. Uh, I've played the intro of this game about eight times now, so... Uh, <laughs> We're going to just go ahead and jump right in and get started. We won't spend a lot of time on character creation. If the character creation goes a little too long, then uh, there'll be another uh, separate video of just the character creation, and we'll speed through that in this video. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. You will notice that there are going to be two versions of this video. Oh, we're starting a new game. Uh, there'll be two versions of this video, one with commentary and one without. Uh, the reason for that is because I asked a bunch of people uh, what they wanted, and the votes were split pretty evenly. So, if you prefer commentary, you'll have that playlist, and if you prefer no commentary, you'll have that playlist. Uh, whatever your bag is, please comment down below and let me know, so that if I start to see trends skewing one way or the other, then I'll be able to adjust uh, my process accordingly. Uh, for now, I'm going to shut up and let this beautiful cutscene play, and uh, yeah, once it's over, then we'll get our Arisen made and get started. On a guess, lend me your ears. Long as our Febramon suffered without a true monarch to guide her. And her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have waited this moment. <laughs> Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen. Creepy voice time. Thou wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy Cast aside thine heart and thy life, both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Well, darn. We were a sovereign, and now we're in a jail. Well, how'd the mighty fall? Was 
I love this dude's staff, but I hate the dude. <laughs> really, really want to be able to just chuck him over a cliff at some point. That would be very, very satisfying. All right, we're going to go with now, a blank slate. No need to be shy. Um, I've just I'm going the kind of boring route and just creating the ideal now version on, of myself. In this. Uh, some uh -huh. of the stuff I'm just going to kind of skip through because it's just you. tutorial stuff. Uh, which, if you've played any kind of RPG, you already know. All right, we're going human. We're going... Big boy. Uh, um, it's probably the closest. I don't want to have to do a lot of uh, alteration here. Um, yeah, that's, that's decent. We're definitely going to change the hair. Uh, strong jaw. I don't have a strong chin, but I would like to, so this guy's going to have uh, a strong, strong draw. We're at 200, high uh, muscle style, uh, he's going to be jacked, because I wish I was jacked. I used to be. I used to be pretty beefy, and then fibromyalgia and laziness set in. <laughs> uh, for body size, take it down just a tad. Uh, I want everything to be as proportional as possible. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. And now the head, we're going to leave. We're going to leave all that uh, the same. I'm not really worried about it. The only thing we've got to change is the hairstyle, of course. Uh, we're going with... We're going with a mohawk. I love the way the mohawk looks in this game. A lot of games don't do the mohawk justice. This one does it perfectly, in my opinion. Uh, so that's what we're going with. I'm kind of a dirty blonde, so that's what this guy's going to be. Facial hair. Got to give him a nice beard. Ooh, I do love that beard. Um, I'm wondering if we should go a little more, a little more trimmed, or like wild man. I, I really like this, actually. So, uh, what color did I make the hair? 128, 133. So, we'll do the same over here. 128. 133. Just wanted to matchy-matchy. Ah, matchy. Oh, that looks so good. Like you, yeah, perfect. It was very, very quick. Easy. Uh way to do this um yeah uh proceed with exchange uh, actually no um there's a couple more things oh here it is we gotta give them wider shoulders and big old delts gotta gotta give them massive delts i like for my shoulders to be buff as hell uh chest size we don't want them to have you know big old man boobs uh, necessarily uh, I'm fine with this torso width being a little bit more than uh, we'll do the depth a little bit and just give him that that giga chad physique arm length is good arm size I don't want to be cartoonish so I think 40 that's pretty good forearm thickness will bump up a little bit maybe he swings a sword all day. He's got to have uh, waist width. Maybe a little. A rear size. Yeah, he's got that cake. Um, actually, let, let's put the waist width back up. He looked fine. Yeah, we don't we don't need him to be an hourglass, necessarily. But I mean, he does have the, the good uh, bodybuilder physique uh, ratio going on. I like that. Uh, movement style. Uh, I kind of like this, the more stoic um, type of walk. 
the elbow sting. It always cracks me up. I don't want his elbows like jacked out to the sides. But I don't want him to necessarily have his hands out to the sides either. So yeah, I think I think this will be as good as we get. The knee angle. Uh, yeah, I wanted to walk straight ahead. Like, yeah, there we go. Now we're good. Uh, vocation. We're going fighter at first. Uh, just because that that's how I play. Um, and then for voice. Uh, Gallant Knight 2. Finalize. Give him his name. His name is just going to be Chip. Moniker? Uh, I, I don't know. Balrog. Why not? Oh, no. Jeez. I always forget how fast this goes. Let's make him 31. He's not young, but he's not old. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly Fisco? brazen for I don't like the look of your face. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only I'm not a pawn, bro. how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry I not, do, Vessel. Indeed. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Oh, you're a charmer. Come along, you feckless dullards. I think feckless dullards is an insult that we should bring back. Y'all are a bunch of feckless dullards. So the, <laughs> the hail how to Hey, how's it going? Jail sucks, huh? What's up? Look at my guy. He's just, <laughs> just beef boy. Uh, actually, let's set the camera distance a little bit further back. Uh, camera distance. No, oh, it's already. Okay, it's already pretty far. Uh, never mind. I didn't make any changes, but sure. We'll save them. Just to be on the safe side. Once we get onto the open world, it'll the camera will uh, pan back a little bit. There we go. That's okay. It was just because we were in such tight quarters. This game is gorgeous in a lot of places. There are some places where it's a little just odd. Also, what is that? Um, game's gorgeous in so many places and then other places it kind of falls a little flat uh, but for the most part it's absolutely beautiful and I love it I've been having a blast with it I know that there are issues with optimization I play on a 3070 an RTX 3070 with an AMD Ryzen 5 uh, 5600X so like it's not a a top of the Your line system. Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place it's for no one of slouch. Your it's but it's definitely like measure. a mid-tier system. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the uh, overseer. 16 gigs of RAM, so not even overkill uh, on the RAM. So yeah, I mean, even with my CPU being a couple generations old and uh, my graphics card being uh, a full generation old. Uh, I'm still still having a blast. It's more than playable. I mean, you're you're seeing how it looks even while I'm streaming Time or you recording. To get to work. So I don't know. It's it's been a lot of fun. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Surely, there's a more efficient way to do this. Like, just because people are in prison doesn't mean that, you know, you should expect slave labor out of them. Besides, what did I even do to get put in prison? The vicinity is quite cluttered. I went from being Bray a sovereign Lee. to oh, being in jail. I want to know why. I don't deserve this. I should be whining and dining with a job other well nobles. Now the next step is to... Next 
next step is to fight a monster. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Dash. Dash away, dash away, dash away all. <laughs> Uh, a Gorgon. Medusa. Medusa was a Gorgon. Followed you, right? No, the damn thing's been awoken. You, you knew it was there. Even the was that what was lives? hanging? I never really noticed that before, but is that is it all coiled up? Oh. Poor guy. Get me out of here! Not his fault. Now! We got our sword and shield, baby! Fighting a, a bunch of enemies, be careful when you hit shield because you could just fully turn your back on the enemy that you want to fight uh, and end up guarding against them and it's not actually attacking you, but it's close. Grab on to her. We're gonna just impale. Stab, stab, stab. You could go close to the head, but. It's not really a concern. Uh, this is one of my favorite things about this game, is actually like, riding on top of enemies and stabbing them in the back. It's a lot of fun. All right. We've completed the tutorial. Are you on hand? Boss. You won't flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. How many voices are we going to uh, encounter in telling us to strange things? The work of a fell curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Marissa. If you just believe. Con Sarnet. What a great I swear or ep epithet. Oh, you! Get back here! I think it's what it's what they are. Epithet. This way or is it? It's not quite a swear, but it's like this way. an expression Let of us flee. angst or disapproval. Get a beautiful opening credits cutscene. So I'm gonna shut up while that plays. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down.
feel so bad for the griffin. He's just flying along, just trying to help bro out. Just gets shot down out of the air. Wakey, wakey. Poor Griffin. One friend in the world. Oi. Swallowed by right? tentacle water. What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Indeed. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? Sure was. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Sounds good to me. And unfortunately, there's nothing you can collect from the, the griffin. And also, there's a cave back here that you can't access it right now, obviously, because of the griffin. Uh, carcass being in the way. But, got a few things to gather here. I'm gonna gather this. And to be completely honest, you can just speed through exactly uh, this, this section. This is all tutorial stuff, uh, prologue type of thing. But you can you can always come back here. here. Or, uh, you you can come back here for a good long while. I don't know about always, but I know you can come back here for a while. I have not actually beaten the game yet, so I'm still still well on my way to doing it. Uh, this will just teach Stop you how to use your basic Let's skills. Take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Where are you going? You can die here. I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. So just be careful. If you're playing uh, a little aggressively, like I am. If this is your first time playing, I do recommend kind of hanging back a little bit. Uh, it, you don't get more experience for killing all of the goblins yourself. Nothing special. Uh, it just gets it done a little faster. That's pretty much the only reason to, to jump in there like I did. Um, everything else is just kind of... Um, one need only look that comes later. It's more experience, more uh, discipline. Actually, I don't know if you get more discipline for being the one to actually fell it, though, or if you just have to hit it once, like in some other way. I don't know. I haven't tested that out. Uh, I would be curious to see. So Justin here has some pretty cool abilities you can see as a fighter. Uh, have all of his abilities that he uses, uh, you can acquire pretty quickly as well. So, never fret, we'll be as good of a fighter as Justin soon. I dare say Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, at least at first, I recommend picking up everything until you become uh, heavy in weight. Uh, and then you can start being a bit more judicious, but at least at first, pick up everything you can, because then you can go in here and combine a bunch of things to make healing potions. They're called salubrious drafts, draughts, droughts, however you want to say it. Um, here, they're, they're, they're health pots. Now we get to meet some other pawns. 
welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? The pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you can't The small be expressions on you the, the faces of some of these Do you not? NPCs. We can take you to it. Like the way he furrows his Pray. brow in confusion. Come this way. Just there, like, ah. Uh, it's so well done. It's really good. But then the there are other things that, like I said before, definitely fall a little flat and need a little work. But we'll get to this. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray. And now we're going to make Summon your our pawn. companion pawn real Simply quick. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Uh, we're going to create new. And we're going to go with a... Uh, I feel like... Yeah, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with the lady. Uh, we're gonna make her relatively small. I think we're gonna make her pretty small, uh, but she's gonna be a mage. I like that. Um, yeah, your pawns. Uh, appearance is entirely you know, personal to what you want to <laughs> look at uh, regularly. Uh, I prefer like ponytails. Uh, I kind of like this one. A little. I kind of like that one. Um, this one's also good. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think this one. Um, we can keep that same color. I'm not too concerned with the appearance of my pawn. Like, she doesn't need to be hot or anything. The only thing she's got to be is jacked. She's got to be, like, she's got to look buff as hell. There's no, there's nothing better in this world than a buff lady. And I'll stand by that statement. Uh, chest thickness. Yeah. She, she again, she works out. Uh, chest shape. I, I don't need, we don't need to worry about any of that. Um, arm size. Mm, yeah, she, she's lean. There we go. Yeah. Uh, waist width. We can keep like that. Uh, all of that the same. Give her a little bit of... A little bit of a, a booty. Yeah. Uh, thighs a little bit bigger. Calves a little bit bigger. Yeah, proportional. We like proportions. Posture, she's stoic. Like she walks. Just. She walks like a warrior. <laughs> it looks a little ridiculous, uh, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, vocation, she's going to be a mage. Uh, only because I like having the healing right off the bat. Uh, she's going to be straightforward. People here are evacuated and safe. Uh, the people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated uh, and okay. safe. I don't like any of these voices, but I guess we'll go with Jaunty One. I really wish they would have just let you choose from all of the voices. Uh, okay, we got to give her a name. Uh, we're going to name her Serafina. The reason for that is because I know that one of the monikers is Sarah. So that's what we're going to go with. Her name is Sarah. It's easy to remember. It's not ridiculous like some of them. I do like the ridiculous pawns, don't get me wrong. But she is not one of them. She's just a normal mage lady. 
with no soul. This or world is connected Howard to innumerable other realms Howard beyond the, the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Huzzah. Well, I'll be. A pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're Chungus free to do as you like Chunga. before then. Just a big what? old dude. You've no memories, you say? <laughs> Mayhap no you memories make for Melvin. at all, sir. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Mayhap. All right, Border Watch Outpost. Woo! Huzzah! Very cool. Very cool. All right. Hail, so. Arisen. Oh. Yeah. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Uh, yeah, Nomads, that's... we are oft called. We'll go through the dialogue. Born in other worlds. We travel here by means of the rift stones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. It's very interesting, Lord. We merely do as we are commanded. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Tis the name given to fates chosen, those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Yeah, Very well. It. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. So once we go through dialogue once, um, then we can skip it from then on. Uh, but in this place, there are a couple of things that we can do. Uh, so first of all, over here are some materials. Some, uh, some ore, which is important for upgrades. Uh, so we can grab that. Uh, and then if we head over here, yep, this building here, just jump into this window. Open that up. over here to this ladder. There are actually two treasure chests. There's one at the, or no, there's only one, sorry. There's that one, and then there's nothing up the ladder, but we'll climb it just to, just to take a look at the view. Oh my god, climb the ladder, dude. I love that you can climb ladders very quickly. You just scurry up them. So yeah, there's nothing, nothing of import up here. And then I, the thing that every game that has ladders should have, uh, being able to slide down the ladder. Uh, and then it'll tell you that you cannot rely on autosave data, that you should make your own saves at ends. Which I do also recommend heartily. Um, let's see. I think that that's all of the, the important uh, items. You can grab these as well. I wouldn't pick up the Scrag Beast personally. Um, you can. You can cook it later. But it's not that important. Uh, the only other thing is, yeah, uh, if you go here. Don't skip this. Look right here. This is called a Seeker Token. Seeker tokens are important. Uh, there are 240 in the game, I believe. Uh, 
and you turn them in at vocation guild uh, locations to get items. They are hidden in the weirdest places. I didn't know that one was there for the longest time. So, uh, oh, summon more pawns. Uh, so, my recommendation is if, you if you're a fighter and you have a mage, then you grab a thief and a ranger. Or a thief and a uh, sorcerer. Uh, so just, just get a thief. <laughs> Make sure you have a thief. Uh, I like having the ranger as well, but uh, some people don't. All right, we're gonna we're gonna filter these out. Uh, yeah, level two. Uh, vocation, thief, archer. Sorry, not ranger, archer. Uh, uh, warrior and sorcerer. Quest knowledge, no. I don't need them to have knowledge of the quests. I just need those specific things. Uh, Flora. I feel like I've hired Flora I've before. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Okay, she is a uh, simple inclination. That's fine. Wakestone shard for traveling together for a day and night. Delighted yeah. to meet you. Especially if we share a sweet tooth. Okay. And now we're going to get a, a dude, just because I don't want them to constantly comment that the party is all women. <laughs> uh, all right, main pawn. You are sure. wise indeed to have sought for, my For aid. level one, let's do it. Um, okay. Uh, inclination is calm as well. Travel together for a day and night. Wake stone shard. Yep. It will be an honor to uh, serve at these low levels. Like they're probably not going to have a lot of badges or um, like knowledge of quests. That's fine. You just need them to help pump out damage, basically. Uh, and it also helps out their uh, Arisen in their own world to uh, have their pawns hired. Uh, and with that, that is going to end uh, this episode. Uh, we've completed the, the first bit of the prologue. So... We're going to go ahead and save and return to title screen. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.